At the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, you know, we're proud to bring you Education Matters in partnership with EECU, Table Mountain Rancheria, Fresno State, and KC24. Thank you for watching Positive Stories About Education. Special education teachers say distance learning poses many challenges in teaching their students. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson reports on how the Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools has been able to return many special education students to the classroom. And sometimes for Veterans Day, they'll put a new flag out. Watching teacher Anthony Davis teach students in the deaf and hard of hearing program is like watching a dancer dance. His moves seem to be effortless. That was the end of World War One. A lot of what you see in this classroom is lost when it moves online. When you communicate 70% is how you do it and the other 30% is the words you said. So yeah, it's a, a unique challenge. Um, having them in the classroom definitely helps. In mid-October, the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools brought many of their special education students back on campuses, not only at their three centers, but many school sites. We have over 75 classrooms that we operate throughout Fresno County, and all of them are back up and running in very small numbers. Davis, who is also hard of hearing, is teaching students on the Washington Union High School campus. They are small classes, two to three students, twice a week. A big thing we struggle with uh, for our students is uh, language. You know, they don't come from homes where they have complete language uh, communication with their families. So anything we can get them talking about, it's, you know, it's now we're not just learning the topic, but we're also reinforcing their languages. Parents do have a choice, and some want their children to continue with distance learning. So in this classroom, Davis is also teaching students online, as well as those in front of him. He gets help from an interpreter and assistant. He wanted to find somebody from World War II. Seeing them work together is like watching a well-choreographed dance. They are so in sync that Davis says all it takes sometimes is a look. We're really fortunate to have a good, strong group of people who uh, really seem to uh, value the opportunity they have here to work with the kids and try to be a part of their uh, learning experience. Page For many students with special needs, having that in-person connection with their teacher is critical. Sabrina Lacero teaches students on the autism spectrum. I have lots of strategies and support set up in my classroom that um, really is important for them and important for their learning, and it's hard to do that over distant learning. Allowing students to return to class took a lot of coordination involving the health department, human resources, labor unions. The teachers say it is well worth the effort. I think it's amazing. I mean, it's been, it's hard to juggle the distant learning and the in-person learning. That's the hardest part, I think, of this transition. But having them back even the two days a week has been wonderful. For Education Matters, I'm Juanita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters.